Good evening, friends. How's everybody doing? It is a beautiful Saturday here in the Piedmont. It was chilly, it was overcast, and while my husband and I were out today, it started snowing. It didn't stick, but it was just nice driving, seeing the little snowflakes fall down. But it got chilly. I wasn't expecting that. So, my name is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited because I have been asked to participate in a collaboration called Break Your Heart Bake 2024. And this is basically something that you like to bake that just breaks your heart, that you go, mm, that's so good, I gotta have more. That's, that's what it's about. I'm sure there are so many uh, recipes that you probably have tasted that feels the same way that I do, but there are so many wonderful channels that are participating in this collaboration. Uh, but first, I want to give a thank to our thanks to our host, um, that is Heavenly Hills Homestead, Bland's Promised Land Ranch, and Kettle Kitchen. All these channels will be actually having a playlist, so you can go over and watch all these wonderful wonderful channels do these great recipes that will just break your heart and you're going to have to try them. Trust me on that one. Um, I also wanted to let you know that the best part of this collaboration, and I do have my notes, I just want to let you know, the best part of this collaboration is that um, on March 3rd at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, there's going to be a giveaway. And this is going to be done on a live giveaway that is hosted, again, by Heavenly Hills Homestead, Bland's Promised Land, and Kettle Kitchen. And they will be having uh, a wonderful giveaway. But here's the thing, and, and to be eligible to win, you need to go and watch the videos, leave a comment on the channels, and then show up for the live. You also have the opportunity by being at the live, using the hashtags that will be provided and everything. But just me do a meaningful comment on the videos. Don't copy and paste your comment because that's not going to be how it works. So yeah, the more comments you leave, the more your chances are to actually win a prize. And then come show up and um, be a part of the live stream. It's a lot of fun. You get to meet people and chat and everything like that. So um, I wanted to let you know as well that prizes can or may be drawn from comments that are left or by videos or comments during the live chat. And uh, there'll probably be some um, prizes maybe for the collaborators like myself. And I may be giving away something as well uh, for this collaboration. So let's get going on our recipe. This recipe comes from Hope's Table. And I'm gonna show you, I mean, first of all, chocolate and peanut butter I mean, can it get any better, right? We're gonna be making, I don't know if it can focus, there you go, these chocolate peanut butter bars. And that's what we're gonna start doing. So with that being said, let me just move a few things out of my way here. And let's get to starting making our peanut butter bars because I am ready to start eating these. I will make these and I will put them up, you know, like for this week, maybe a quick little dessert one night uh, or a snack or something like that. They're not too bad. I mean, they do have peanut butter in them. So there is some protein, it's not pure sugar. So I am, we are gonna get started with this. Are you ready? All right, so let's get started here. I have placed my butter out on the counter all day to get it to room temperature and to soften up. We're gonna need to use about a cup. I can't really tell you the complete recipe, but you'll be able to determine what, I, what I'm doing and what I'm using. And to that, we are going to add and cream our white sugar. and our brown sugar. And I left the lid over on the other side. I always think I'm so prepared for this and then I always forget something. It may be a little loud, so I'm gonna try and drown out the sound here. All right, friends. 
friends, we have all that nice and creamed together. Let me open this up. I'm just gonna give you a little peek in here if possible. I'm gonna just kind of scrape down the sides too. All right, let me set the camera back down over here. And then to that, we are going to add our eggs. Well, I'm gonna add those last. I like to do my eggs differently. I have a bowl here with the salt and baking soda. I mixed it in here, got the lumps out of everything. We're gonna dump that in and be done with that. And then we're gonna add our peanut butter in this all combined I mean I don't I don't think I mean yes it has chocolate and stuff but the ingredients is relatively you know not too too overly sweet and powerful and that's why I like it so much because I think it's a good it's a good mix and then to this um, we are gonna add our flour One of the things I love about this botch mixer, it is so easy to use. I, I am so glad that I got this because I find it's so easy to pull out and use. It's one of the easiest things, mixers I've ever had. And I have other, other mixers here as well. And then to this, I am going to add some rolled oats. Yep. And then we are going to add some vanilla. I don't think it hurts to add just a tad bit more. There we go. There's the vanillas in. And then what I will do is I am gonna start, I'm gonna turn my machine back on. Put the lid on so we don't that's what i love about this is the lid because it doesn't get all over the place right i'm gonna bring you around this way hopefully you can see better and then one at a time i'm gonna add my eggs which will help bind everything together reset the kitchen and clean up the area a little bit I got my pan out um, the recipe says a 13 by 8 inch I just got out one of my smaller ones which is fine I preheated the oven to 350 see how easy that just came off and you know what's best is the suction cups at the bottom that just make this so easy and it doesn't it doesn't move and jerk around like some of the other mixers do um, when you're mixing a dough. It's just, it just makes it so much easier. Doesn't that look good? Oh my goodness. Are you a lick the beater type of person? Did you do that when you were a kid? Not when I certainly did. And why not do it as an adult? Just because you're an adult doesn't mean you have to stop enjoying those little things that you did as a kid right so yeah so my oven is preheated and I have that at 350 we are gonna bake this in this pan for anywhere between 15 and 18 minutes once I get it in the pan I probably should have got my other casserole dish out my bigger baking dish out but we're just gonna go with what we have right now and then I also have, I have my chocolate chips here that I'm going to need to melt. And I thought I could do them in a double boiler, but tonight I think I'm going to actually just whip them up in my microwave just to make it easy and not have so many extra dishes tonight. 
I'm debating on my pan. I think I'm concerned that if I pull my other one out, it's going to be too big. But I have the right to change my mind at any time, right? So we're going to pull out the bigger one. And we are going to put this in to our dish. I did not grease this one. I must, it does not say to. And I think because you have the peanut butter and the oils coming from the peanut butter, you're gonna you're gonna be able to um, the oils are gonna release from that when it bakes. So it shouldn't it shouldn't um, stick to anything. At least that's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> I can't remember. This smells so good, friends. Oh, I can't even get over how good it smells. We're probably gonna have a little treat tonight once I get all these, all this done. And it's so easy. It really doesn't take that long. It took me less than ten minutes to uh, get all the ingredients together. So now I'm just gonna come in here. I'm gonna wet my hand really quick, just to make sure that the dough doesn't necessarily always stick to my hand. And I'm just gonna come in here now and I'm just gonna press this out. Simple, right? Now, if I was taking this somewhere, honestly, I'd probably have my food gloves on right now doing this. I wouldn't do this if I was taking it for company or if I was having company over or something. Yeah, I'm glad I got out the um, the extra pan because that this would have been too too much in my smaller one so I'm glad I changed my mind <laughs> sometimes it's good changing your mind I'm just trying to get it spread out as little as possible the oven's not even ready yet so we are good on time and I think we're good I think it's gonna be good yep I'm gonna come in with a knife and just maybe try and smooth some of the edges around just a little bit here. All right. There's my oven. So into the oven for anywhere between 15 and 18 minutes. That's gonna be dependent on your um, oven and how well it bakes, but you don't wanna overcook it. So I'm not going to leave the kitchen. I'm going to stay here until it's done and I will show you what we do with the chocolate chips. All right, so I am making the top part of the bars and what I did is I put some chocolate chips in there. I melted it tonight in my microwave. You could do it in a saucepan, a double boiler. And then to that, you're gonna add about A half a cup of peanut butter to the chocolate okay that's what we're gonna do and I am NOT measuring this I'm just gonna eyeball it because I just washed all those dishes <laughs> sometimes baking you just use a lot more that's okay that's about a half a that looks like about a half a cup That's about a half a cup of peanut butter in there. And then we're gonna mix this all together. Incorporate that peanut butter, stir it up. Until it's just really nice and creamy, just like a frosty. See that? Isn't that just beautiful? And um, the bars are just about finished. We got just another two minutes on those and we'll be pulling them out of the oven. Okay, friends, I have taken it out. It is complete. It's been cooling. It's now just warm. And so you want to cool it, but not all the way. You want it still warm. So when you pour your chocolate on and peanut butter topping, you want to be able to spread it. 
and um, the warmth of the the bake well the I don't know like the bar will actually help spread it out for you oh my gosh it smells so good I've always had a weakness for like Reese's peanut butter cups and then yeah doesn't that look just delicious so we're gonna just spread this out I'm gonna have to cut into this too get it as close to the edge as possible without Gosh, I wish you could just smell the chocolate and the peanut butter in this right now. It's absolutely delicious. I know there's a lot more chocolate in here I need to scrape out. And this was just a really easy dessert. Something you can really whip together in no time at all. I mean, total tops, to be honest with you, because you have to let it cool. Maybe like... The prep in that, it, it doesn't, it takes, it doesn't take long. It's the longest part is just letting it cool. All right, I think we're done. And if you wanted to, I'm sure you can just like drop a couple of um, chocolate chips on top if you want some extra chocolate or maybe if you want some of Reese's peanut butter cups or Reese's pieces on here, you could do that as well, just little chunks. Does that look good or what? So, let's give it a taste test. Let me get out. It's still gonna be warm and gooey, but, but I wanna get a little piece out and show you what it looks like. Here you go up close. I don't know if you can see that. Yum. All right, here we go. I'm so happy. This is a good night. We haven't even had dinner yet. Maybe this is my dinner. Mmm. 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 Peanut butter and chocolate just break my heart. I just want to eat more and more. <laughs> oh, friends. This is so delicious. This is so good. It is a winner. I will be making more and more of these, but for right now, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you will go and watch the playlist and make your comments and join us for our live on um, March 3rd at 2 p.m. Pacific time. And I wanna thank, let me thank our host again, Heavenly Hills Homestead, Bland's Promised Land, and Kettle Kitchen. Thank you so much for including me in this collaboration of Break Your Heart Bake 2024. It was just a lot of fun. And I just have so much fun doing these collaborations. It's, it's just so much fun to see what everybody's making. So. We hope to see you on the next video. Stay blessed and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.